I'm David from Trade Nation, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to view a chart and chart options. Right, we've got the platform up and running as usual, and the market I'm particularly interested in looking at today is the US dollar Japanese yen. And you can see it's in this row here. Now, if we go along this row, you come to a symbol which is for charts. So I just click on that, and this brings us up a chart on top of our trading platform. Now, I prefer to see the charts in greater detail. So what I'm going to do is flip on this uh, tab here, and this is going to bring it up in the main browser tab. So I can see this chart in a little bit more detail. Now, one of the first things you might notice is over in the left-hand corner here, we have a deal ticket. So if you're anything like me, it's when you're looking at the charts and the market behavior that you're most likely going to want to trade. And so you can do that straight off the charts by uh, either buying or selling using these buttons here, or you could leave an order. But if that's getting in your way, just go over to the top right hand corner, click and it's gone. So here we have the chart. This is a daily chart of the US dollar Japanese yen. But if you want to change the times, you can do that by clicking on the drop down menu here. And you have all these choices. You can go to a tick chart, one minutes, right the way through up to one month. So let's just change that now to a, an hourly chart. Now you could do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to shift that along about. That was just a left click on the mouse and dragging uh, the chart along. So I've got a little bit of space over here. You could change uh, again the, uh, whether, the interval down with these buttons at the bottom. So you've got two ways of doing that. The other thing to think about is when you're looking at the chart, there are a number of different ways that you can display your data. Click on the display box here and you may want to cho uh, choose rather than the candle, which is our default setting and, and something that I uh, find very easy to use. But you may prefer something like a line chart or uh, perhaps something a little bit more interesting, such as a histogram. And these will tell you different things. These give you different sort of types of information. But let's just go back to our candle. OK, so from here, there are a number of different things that we can do. Uh, if we go up to studies here, we can add on an indicator. Um, there are quite a list here that we've got. One of the more popular ones, for instance, is going to be Bollinger Bands. So we just click on Bollinger Bands and you can see that they are wrapping around um, wrapping around the data, the price data that we've got now. You go anywhere on these and this will tell you the uh, some information about the bands. You can see the sort of like the settings. You can change the settings with a with a right click in most cases. And also we can so we can edit the settings by doing that. Or we can right click again when we're hovering over the uh, over the study and we can delete it. Other things to look at here. There's the crosshairs. Click on there and we can get the information for each individual bar, which so we get the opening, the closing and everything else. Let's click on that and that removes that. Now, for more information, click on this box here. This gives us in a couple of ways. Again, a bit like the crosshairs, you can hover over a bar and find out the open, close, high and low. Or if we click on this again, we get the information up in the top of the chart, which is another um, easy way to displaying the data again for each individual candle. I click on that again and it's gone. It's out of our way. If I click here, these are our drawing tools. So we've got a complete list of drawing tools. I'll just loop, move myself over, um, including you can add text to the chart, but there are all kinds of things. For instance, we have parallel lines here. We have uh, fib retracements. Uh, we have the Andrews pitchfork, all kinds of useful tools to help you help you develop and study the chart in question and to inform your trading decisions. Right, so there we go. There's a brief overlook over charts and the charting options. I hope you found that helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with everything that we're doing here at Trade Nation. And in the meantime, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching and best of luck with your trading.